seriously did it. Okay, no problem, Summer. Okay. Yes, that tends to happen. Good to know. I need to acquire myself a shawl or a coat. Fantastic. You too. Got to keep those uh, Valentine streets nice and muddy. Oh, is, it, is, this, is all this mud like normal? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got a healing properties. I wouldn't trust it with that. Yeah, you don't really seem like a trustworthy person when it comes to talking about mud oh. and healing properties. What do you mean? <laughs> I meant exactly what I said. You don't think I know my mud? I think you know mud, but not as well as you think you do. Well, seeing as I've ranched for 20 years, I would hope that I know mud inside and out. I know what to put on my face, not not to put on my face. All right, then go on. Put the, put the mud on your face right now, then. Prove it. Oh, no, no. I can... <laughs> <laughs> right now? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No. See, right not, there, you, you bite not your tongue. Rained you, you, not yep, rained yep, nearly enough, yep, you know what I mean? You bite your tongue, you're making excuses. Waiting for I the minerals you. out of the rain to, uh, and, you know, enrich the soil. Tell her, I have four brothers. You ain't gonna pull the wool over my eyes. I'm not trying to pull any wool over nobody's ass. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just, you know shut what them, I smell? just shut them completely. You know what I smell? It's called bullshit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I think I stepped in it on the way in. You probably did. <laughs> oh, that made me me too. Oh, it's a, it's a trait. Is that a person or is it just a light? That is just a light. It's a lantern. That's yeah, okay. I, I, if somebody was trying to hide behind a tree, they wouldn't light a lantern. Uh, you'd be surprised at how dumb some folks are. No, nope. nobody said there was high Nana. I just said I saw. Oh, okay. Good to know that people ain't the brightest apples in the bunch. Oh yeah, you should go to um, you should go to Blackwater. Do I want to know <laughs> why you are making that suggestion? It's oh, it yeah. is. You know, when you go to a place and you think, God, oh, everyone here is so much smarter than I. Yeah, it's not that place. Good to know. If you're looking for some riveting conversation about um, just absolute nonsense, that's your place to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Completely avoid Blackwater. Got it. It's yeah. not D a terrible place. Day. You might just not have the best conversations. Last time I was down I... there, there was a gentleman chasing others trying to steal their pants. I don't know what that was all about. What the Sam Hannah? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yep. I know who that is. Yes. <laughs> Why is he trying to steal? You, you know what? You know, never mind. I actually <coughs> don't want to know the answer to that question, so I'm just going to shut my mouth. I watched a guy fall off the roof earlier today. <laughs> that I was can believe that. Here in Valentine or Blackwater? No, in Blackwater. That's odd. It was great. Well, not great for him, but visually it was entertaining. I thought the sheriffs in town uh, outlawed being on roofs or whatnot. Well, you'd imagine so, but I don't think there was uh, many law about. I think he was mm. being ch he was being chased by a friend. I think. No, oh, alright. Ah, so horse playing shenanigans, got it. Yeah, but off a roof. You know what I mean? I feel like horse plays took a real different tone. It, well, well, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what you learn from horse play is uh, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. It's called Absolutely. falling off a roof. Absolutely. Right. And if the dumbass didn't learn their lesson the first time, then it's just gonna be lather, rinse, repeat. Oh well. Yeah, I learned the hard way to keep my gun in my holster when I take my jacket off. I almost shot myself in the foot the <laughs> other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, you told this story. I remember this. This is usually why I prefer long arms. <laughs> About scared the shit out of myself. <laughs> Shit, I probably would have done the same thing. You know what? Guns aren't my problem, but knives are my problem. I'm so clumsy when cooking. You know what I mean? The mm. amount of times I've knocked the knife off and he lost a two. A two? What the fuck is a two? A toe? 
<laughs> or embedded it in my foot. You know, I'm a many sport to be honest. I stabbed myself in the hands once. Really did myself a doozy on that one. Mm. Honestly, I think it's better to be clumsy than it is to be just downright unlucky. Absolutely. You know anybody who's super unlucky? Me. You think you're you tell me tell me why you're unlucky and I'll tell you a story about a woman that I know. Alrighty. Well, usually about once a week I end up with some form of injury from some sort of bullshit. Either just walking across the road, somebody nearly runs me over with a wagon, or wild horse goes nuts and tries to trample me, and all sorts of shenanigans like oh, I don't know, maybe trying to go out walking with a friend and then uh, three packs of wolves come out of nowhere and mm. then they all go after me instead of the other person. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's all I the can most say. Fun meat in your pockets? Exactly. I do not keep meat in my pockets, sir. Mm. I'm wearing a skirt. I don't have pockets. Maybe my you bag, never, but... You got, you, you got holding in your... Uh, what's that thing underneath? Corset? Is it a corset? Is that what it's called? I'm... Okay, I am currently not wearing a corset. I don't know. You, you know the I shorts I'm talking about. You know the little white shorts? You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking, uh, about, are you talking about like blue? I think he's something? talking about the petticoat. Yes, he's talking about the petticoat. But there ain't no pockets in that. Well, someone should invent some nah, pockets for that. Uh, <laughs> I don't Wait. know women's clothing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be counterintuitive because you'd have to lift up your whole skirt to try to put something in your pocket. Exactly, and you're practically slashing people, so yeah, that just kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I know a woman who was struck by lightning in uh, mm. an outside bath, okay? And then she moved to Australia and was struck by lightning again. Jesus. That's a true story right there. Actually, you know what? That is incredibly unlucky, and I'm glad I ain't her. Imagine being that disliked by whatever god, creator, or whatever there is out there, that you get struck by lightning mm -hmm. in the first place. You move a whole, you know, a whole continent, a whole place to, to, to live a different kind of life, and you get struck by lightning in the outback. <laughs> you, know what, you know what the moral of the story is here? Okay. Don't use an outside bath when it's raining. Well, absolutely, but you know, I mean, the second time, you can't even help it. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Second time, kind of just, yeah. That second time was like a big fuck you. Maybe she deserved it. Hmm. I often I mean, wonder, I, I often wonder that, you know what I mean? Like, spiritually. Like, why, why did he choose her twice? She's got to have done something. Right. Maybe. That's just wild. It, that's the extent of my interest in stories. Hey, stories are great. Absolutely, I love stories. You learn something new from every story. Either you learn a lesson, <clears throat> or you get a little new tidbit of information, or sometimes it's just funny. You, you okay? Achila? Yes. Cough like you had something in your throat. Yes, it's dust. Dust in your throat? I hate that. That's the worst. <laughs> yes, but sadly, you can't do much to wait it, so. Of course you can. You can put mud on your face. How exactly <laughs> does that prevent <laughs> getting dust? It stops the uh, putting wet mud on your face, it catches the dust. Alright, hey, then prove it. Put mud on your face. Well, I don't need I it. I got the beard. The beard. Her. The beard catches the dust, you know what I mean? The, the beard's a natural dust collector. Mm -hmm. How convenient. That's it. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say, Morgan? Mm, I'd, I'd agree with that. There you go. I don't need to It does up. help. Okay. Why don't you, you should demonstrate for us, Anna. Demonstrate what? Mud on the face? Mud on the face. You know what I mean? Some people even go as far as a cow pat. Nah, don't need to. I'm used to the dryness and all the dust. <laughs> right. Dry, did you <laughs> say dried up cow patty? I did not say dried up cow patty. I 
I said, I said, I'm used to all the dryness and the dust. All right. I think I got dust in my damn ears. What the hell? I mean, you probably do. Yeah, I'm deaf in one ear, so. I see now. He's got an excuse. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lights keep changing for anyone else. Keep seeing flashes of like moonlight. Is it cloudy? I see little it's flickers of light, but uh, I don't know. Are you okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have like a, an episode and it's gonna pass out or something. Absolutely. Okay. Maybe you should sit down so you don't hit your head. No, I'm okay. Making me nervous now. I'm waiting for something to happen to me. Pass out in the mud. Probably your wife is approaching you. <laughs> it's fucking true. <laughs> no. Bill, Bill. Hmm? No, she'd never, she'd never call my name like that, Blacku. She'd stand at a distance and stare. You know what I mean? And I'd huh? feel, and I'd fucking feel it. Go, oh, I gotta go. I feel, feel like daggers in your back. Yeah. Piercing eyes staring into your soul. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the faith is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.